Hi everyone, welcome to an Academy Meet English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma and in today's video, we are going to talk about the strategy that you people can use in remaining 165 days. Yes, we have 165 days in which I'm including the remaining days of November, I'm including the December, January, February, March and April. And you know it very well, the April month is just for the revision, it should be for the revision. But here, in this particular plan, I'm even utilizing that April for the completion of few chapters as well. So you make sure you watch Watch this video till the end. Number two, uh, who can watch this video? See, if you are studying sincerely, if you have a proper plan, if you are, you know, maintaining that pace, you are consistent, then this video is not for you. But let's suppose if you have completed the syllabus, but still you don't know how to revise, or you are not able to revise consistently, or some days you are studying a lot, other days you are not, you are not just looking at the books, then this video is for you. And if you are somebody who has wasted a lot of time and now you are like, you know, I need a serious plan, I need to do it. And and I have to crack it. So for that, right, uh, for such students, this video is there. Because here I'll talk about the detailed strategy that you all can follow. So as I said, overall, how many days are there? 165 days, 79 chapters. So basically, at least, at least I'm telling you, three days, in three days, you have to complete two chapters. Right now, I'm not talking about the physics, the chemistry, the biology. I'm simply telling you that three days, two chapters, this is, this is the bare minimum that you have to do. So five days, mein, three chapters, this is something that you have to achieve, you have to do. And when it comes to the syllabus, chapter completion, so it's not like that, that you have to move like this. No, it's literally not like that. You should know whatever chapters you are going to complete, you should know about such chapters in detail. Okay. So like if I have to round it, then I'll say 13 chapters per month. Just imagine 13 chapters per month. So minimum three chapters every week, or you can make it 3.5 or even the four chapters every week, it depends, right? It depends on the difficulty level of the chapter as well. So basically you have four months, four months to finish this, December, Jan, Feb, March, right? To complete this because one month, obviously we have to keep it for the revision. So if that is the case, like if you have to, as I said, if you want to utilize April for the new topic completion, then you know the plan and if, you want to complete it by March only, which you should, because April should be for the revision, then you people can see four months we have for 79 chapters. So 16 weeks we have, so five chapters per week overall, you guys can see. So target is, right, no, four to five chapters per week, four to five chapters. And I'll say, go for the five chapters. Try to go for it. Pick up the easy one here initially. Okay. So week one to 16, you will be able to complete all the 79 chapters. So what should be the detailed plan? Like for how long you have to study? Of course, there is no doubt. You need a minimum six to eight hours. Six to eight hours minimum. This is the micro plan that I'm giving you right now, students. Right. So basically a day wise plan I'm giving you. And obviously I always mention this that never go for the timetable students always go for the target table right now you know your target write down right write down the chapters that you are going to complete in your first week just focus on that one week target right and then go for this target table that in this particular week i have to complete these five chapters how can i achieve it so basic things they are very same here right you can see that theory three yards minimum Stick to the NCRT for the biology, NCRT plus coaching material. If you have any modules you have, you can go for that. You have to read that things, highlight the important things. Short notes are mandatory for sure. You will never, never hear this thing that you should not write the short notes. No, you should definitely as per your understanding. So every day, 1.5 hours minimum for the PYQ practice should be there. Number one, solve at least past 20 years MCQs, right? Practice question for 1.5 hours. Like practice is important. PYQ practice separately is important. So at least 60 to 80 MCQs per day, you should solve, you should practice. Like it is, if you have to complete five chapters a week, you are not just allowed to write the notes only. You are not just allowed to watch the lectures only you should at least practice 60 to 80 mcqs per day this is good for reducing the negative marking this is good for time management as well so every day in your schedule one hour for the mini revision should be there and 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 one hour for the stress buster activity should be there right this should be there so revise the same day 
whatever theory you have completed, you should revise it every day, right? You can make the flashcards, NCRT line to line reading, weekly test you have to go, right? So full syllabus of that week, you should go for the test. And after the test, error analysis is important. So these are the things which, uh, trust me, which I'm repeating in my all videos, plus every educator, you check any video. These are the things that every teacher is going to mention. So if we all are mentioning something, right? So obviously it is important, right? If we all, we all educators, if we are aligned on something means it is important. So this is something that you have to do. So just keep it in your mind. It is the target table, not the timetable. What is your target? Five chapters a week. Now, the another thing that you have to take care, you have to decide that what exactly you want. I have mentioned it multiple times to my students, either black or white, no gray here. Like if you want to study, then just study. Then just give your five months because you have wasted enough time. If you don't want to study, then just enjoy. Right, there is no in between, right? In these months now, there is no in between that ma'am I'll study later because now there is no later, right? Now this time, this later is going to be never. Trust me on that. So what you have to do, you have to be very clear. Just talk to yourself, stand in front of mirror, just ask this from yourself. You want to qualify it or not? And if it is a yes, then you are not even allowed to waste a single day because we have five chapters per week in which you have to distribute physics, you have to distribute chemistry and the biology as well. For biology, you know that you can go for all the 32 chapters, right? For physics and chemistry, I know there, there are topics which are difficult for students. So decide that, right? Note it down that this portion is easy for me. This portion is difficult for me. This portion I have already completed. I need less time. Accordingly, make a plan. And if you want the detail, so you people can just go to this video, right? You can go to Unacademy Neat English channel and see 55 important chapters I have mentioned. You can start this schedule from these chapters only. You can complete these chapters first. Okay. And at this point of time, see, see, why am I mentioning here? Decide. Decide that are you really want to go for the 79 chapters, right? You should know your caliber and there is no harm in that. If I know I'm a slow learner, then I will not waste my time. I'll start my preparation from the day one because I'm a slow learner, right? You should know your, your efficiencies. You should know your weakness. Just say, I know that I take time to understand the things. Okay, I have to give more time. So I cannot sit now like uh, I'll start my preparation after 10 days or 20 days. No, I know I'm a slow learner. I know I have to start from the day one only. That is something that you have to realize. And once you'll realize it, you'll accept your flaws, then obviously you know how to work on that. So acknowledgement is some, something which is very important and that is something you have to learn. So firstly, decide what you want to do. You really want to crack it. And if it is a yes, you really want to crack it, then please, now these five months, they are not for the wastage. The every day you have to justify not just a day you have to justify your single single minute right justify your single single minute give your best and then you will see your result at this point of time if you are scoring 300 marks in the mock test and if you follow the schedule for one month trust me on that if you will give the chap test of that chapters you will definitely get 500 plus marks but all you need is consistency all you need is that perseverance that i'm not going to give up i have to fight and i will so this is something you have to decide and if you have decided then write down the marks required as per your state as per your caliber right what is your plan now don't be like huh today i have started the preparation now i need aims okay target for that but be realistic so just write it down that in my state in this much of marks i can get this or that college simple as that decide it write it then decide the number of chapters the, that you have to complete are you going to go for all the 79 chapters or you will go for 70 chapters 72 chapters even 65 chapters it is all up to you but you have to decide and i have i have shared a video as well that you people can see so once you decide it right obviously accordingly then you will distribute your time then you will make your target table so this is a strategy that you have to follow for the upcoming days and guys Trust me, I am going to repeat this again. If you really want to shine like sun, first burn like sun, this is something that you have to learn. You can do it, you can do it and you will do it. For biology, go for the NCRT. Understand a lecture in detail. Make the short notes, read the NCRT. Practice the question. Repeat this, repeat this, repeat this. For physics, understand a lecture. Solve the question. Again, solve the question. Again, solve the question. Again, revise from your mistakes and then repeat it. For the chemistry, for the inorganic chemistry, again, for NCRT, then uh, learn from the lecture. Make the short notes. Read the NCRT. Solve questions 
information based on the basis of NCRT, inorganic chemistry will be done. For organic also, you can follow it up to some extent. For physical, keep on practicing and trust me, you'll be able to crack it. It is not difficult. It is. It requires consistency only. And if you learn this thing, you are going to crack it. So this is what you have to learn and you know that the complete an academy neat English team is there for you. I have already taken my first lecture on human reproduction, the chapter. Look, just watch this lecture once. Everything is in detail. NCRT is covered. Extra information is also there. NCRT exemplar questions are also solved. So this is how we are teaching you, not just me, all other teachers are teaching you in the same way. So here you guys can see, right today because of electricity glitch, I was not able to take the lecture. So my next session, my next session is on Sunday, that is at 6 p.m., right? It is on Sunday. You can just attend it. Everything will be discussed in detail. And then after that, I'll be taking principles of inheritance and variation, the genetics part, on 19th of November. So this is what you have to follow. You can see the schedule of other teachers as well. And moreover, students, moreover, today, right, Overall, we have started on an academy. We are celebrating this Children's Day, children, uh, children's day by, you know, having the special classes with students, by discussing their doubts, by providing them the important questions, practice sessions like this. So you can also see my session as well. Right today, I'm going to take it. So here you people can see the link for that. So just we are giving our best. Trust me, we are giving our best. And we just want you people to put your best effort so that you don't regret, right? So give your best. And if there is any confusion, any other doubt, do let me know in the chat section, students. So this is all about the today's video. So all the best. Take care. So remember, one week, five chapters minimum. That is what you have to maintain. And every day, one hour of the stress buster activity, proper sleep, proper food, you are going to make it. Trust me. Okay, so all the best. Take care. Thank you so much, students.